Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to another episode and today I'm going to talk about and today I'm going to talk about polycystic ovarian syndrome once again and today I'm going to address the concerns of taking oral contraceptive pills especially for adolescent and young girls who are not yet married and they think why should I take oral contraceptive pills as you all know we have already made a video explaining explaining everything about polycystic ovarian syndrome polycystic ovarian disease if you haven't watched that video then you need to watch that first before you get to this video but today I'm going to discuss what are the benefits of taking oral contraceptive pills for polycystic ovarian disease what are the possible side effects and if there is any specific reason in your medical history why you should not take oral contraceptive pills let's start if you want to know about health and have health concerns then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos adolescent girls and young women are frequently prescribed oral contraceptive pills for polycystic ovarian syndrome and sometimes for irregular or absent menstrual cycle absent menstrual periods sometimes for menstrual cramps sometimes for acne also even for premenstrual syndrome and even endometriosis now let's understand why first question is why adolescent girls and young women may be prescribed to take oral contraceptive pills now this frequently happens for a number of conditions first and foremost is polycystic ovarian syndrome where there is abnormal uh, female hormones and therefore you give oral contraceptive pill which basically are hormones second irregular or absent menstrual periods which also happens in polycystic ovarian syndrome but can happen because of other reasons as well third reason is menstrual cramps then acne sometimes because if acne are suspected to be because of hormonal reasons we can give oral contraceptive pills then premenstrual syndrome so peri premenstrual syndrome and endometriosis so for all these reasons adolescent girls and young women can be given the oral contraceptive pill birth control pills but why are these given in people in children why are these given in adolescent and young girls who are not sexually active these are given because these are hormones and these pill regulate the hormone levels in the girls with PCOS and regulate their menstrual period. For people who don't want to take oral contraceptive pill, there are some other alternatives like hormonal patches and vaginal hormonal rings. Vaginal hormonal rings are also available which can help lower the level of hormones unnecessary hormone imbalance can be corrected in, P in polycystic ovarian syndrome now this is very important as we've already discussed because unless your hormone levels are corrected your ovulation will not happen you won't be able to actually lose weight you won't be able to lose weight efficiently you won't be able to tackle all the male uh, features which you are having like acne and hairs and thick skin these all things very efficiently without controlling your hormone levels so that's why ho controlling hormone levels is very important so what exactly are these oral contraceptive pills these pills basically contain two types of synthetic female hormones progestins and estrogens these are similar to those hormones which are made by your ovaries and to be clear there are many different kinds of oral contraceptive pills with different concentrations so you need to talk to your doctor to find what kind of pill is best suitable for you but today we are going to talk about the generalized benefits side effects of these oral contraceptive pills so if we talk about the benefits in young women with PCOS what will happen if they take oral contraceptive pills the first benefit is that they will get lighter and regular periods oral contraceptive pills can help regulate your menstrual cycle 
so your periods can come every 28 days. The pill usually causes lighter periods too, lighter bleeding. The second benefit is less unwanted hairs. Oral contraceptive pills can lower the androgen hormone levels and therefore lessen the amount of excess hair growth but it takes at least several months like six months before there is a decrease in the unwanted hairs in the face chest back and stomach so you have to be consistent and patient third clear skin yes ocps can improve acne the hormones in these pills the hormones in most type of pills can actually help stop acne from forming again coming back again and again it does not treat acne you have to treat the acne which is already there but these pills will prevent further acne but again you have to be patient it again takes a few months to see the proper improvement the fourth benefit is that if you are having menstrual cramps that you will get fewer or milder or no cramp at all after taking oral contraceptive pills the fifth is generalized medical benefit which means that because there is less menstrual bleeding your chances of landing up into anemia become less and oral contraceptive pills also decrease your chances of getting endometrial cancers ovarian cancers and ovarian cysts so these are all the benefits for young girls even if they are not sexually active they should take oral contraceptive pills or if not then they can go for hormonal patches or vaginal rings then what can be the possible side effects of oral contraceptive pills most women show no side effects when taking oral contraceptive pills but it's possible to have irregular periods nausea headache or sometimes weight change while taking these pills now you need to remember that each type of oral contraceptive each type of ocps oral contraceptive pills can affect young women differently now what all can happen see spotting you usually don't need to use a regular pad so first side effect would be spotting or very light bleeding this may occur during the first to third week of starting the pill or sometimes if you miss a pill if the bleeding becomes heavier or lasts more than a few days or the bleeding happens after you have been on the pill for a few months then you should talk to your doctor about this problem second side effect is nausea the feeling of vomiting this occurs this occasion this occurs occasionally this occurs occasionally when you first start taking the pill and will often go away within a few days it is less likely to occur if the pill is taken after dinner or as a bedtime or with a bedtime snack third side effects headache this headache may occur because of stress at school or home or too little sleep sinus infection sometimes migraine there might be many reasons associated with your condition now pills can make the headache better or worse so if your doctor thinks your headaches are related to the pills they may prescribe you another pill with a lower amount of estrogen or you may have to you may be advised to go off the pill for a short time and if you have migraine headaches then you need to talk to your doctor whether the pill is right for you or not the fourth side effects are mood changes this is like when you feel up and down emotionally this can happen sometimes and to anyone but it is unlikely to be caused by the pill exercising regularly and following a healthy diet are the two key elements along with talking to your doctor which can help you with your mood changes make sure you let your doctor know about 
make sure to talk to your doctor about how you are feeling it's very important the fifth side effect is sore and enlarged breasts this is very very occasional very occasionally your breast may become tender or get enlarged but usually they will but usually this doesn't happen they will stay the same the sixth one is weight change some teens gain weight and some can lose weight while on the pill but most stay exactly the same remember this more depends upon this remember this depends upon the choice of healthy foods you do you need to watch your portion size you need to drink a lot of water you need to get plenty of exercise right that's also very important we have discussed this in all, so many videos you can watch my exercise of food education weight loss obesity videos playlist as well okay then the next side effect is blood clots now blood clot in your legs or a lung is very rare very rare now this but this is a serious side effect so if at all by any chance you feel a pain or swelling in your leg or you feel shortness of breath or chest pain while on the pill you need to go to a doctor right away if you have a history of such blood clots you should not take the pill and tell your doctor about your history now these kind of blood clots are more likely to develop if you are a smoker you are very overweight you had a recent surgery or if you are sitting on a plane aeroplane for a long time there are some things which you can do to lessen your chances of these clots most important stop smoking don't go out in the pollution day don't go out in the smoke in polluted in pollution in traffic without covering your nose if you are on long, if you are on a long plane trip get up and walk around drink a lot of fluids drink a lot of water and if you are scheduling a surgery talk to your doctor about stopping your pill for at least 3 to 4 weeks before the surgery and after the surgery until you have recovered so these are all the possible common as well as rarest side effects of oral contraceptive pills i think i've covered them all then there are certain questions which you need to ask yourself before starting the pills although most teens can take the oral contraceptive pills but for some taking a combined pill with both estrogen and progesterone is not an option because of certain medical conditions these are contraindications to use combined pills now these are obviously first is your history of blood clots first is history of blood clots second is migraine headaches with an aura where you know headache is going to come where there will be spots and flashes of lightning difficulty in seeing or visions for 5 to 10 minutes 5 to 30 minutes um, before the headache starts this is an aura now if you have migraine headaches with aura or if you have certain other neurological symptoms like numbness of hand or toe or toes or loss of speech then you should not take these pills then certain kinds of heart diseases rheumatic heart disease valvular heart disease heart enlargements you should not take these pills high blood pressure which is not in control with medications again you should not take these pills then hepatitis liver disease don't start these pills same way if you have jaundice yellowing of your skin your eyes during a previous pregnancy talk about these pills with your doctor so all these are contraindications of oral contraceptive pills i hope uh, i have answered most of your questions so let me tell you a few more things to end to wrap things up you do not need any examination or tests before going on an oral contraceptive pills but it is important for all the teens to have regular health checkups as the part of your general health care a pelvic exam is not needed for girls with pcos just to start oral contraceptive pills girls with pcos 
may have an external genitalia examination or a pelvic exam as their part of their first visit for PCOS or they may have a pelvic ultrasound to look at their ovaries. Is there any trouble getting pregnant after using oral contraceptive pills? No. There is no change in your fertility capacity with the use of these pills. However, if you have polycystic ovarian syndrome and your periods were irregular before you started taking the medication, it is likely that your periods will be irregular again whenever you stop taking them. Does oral contraceptive pill cause birth defects? Not at all. Not at all. Not e they do not even affect the health of the future children in the future. No. Does oral contraceptive pills cause cancer? No, not at all. These pills actually protect against cancer of ovaries, of cancer of the lining of the uterus, endometrium, of uh, cervix. So these are protective. How long can you take oral contraceptive pills? How long can you take these pills? It is safe for you to take these pills for years. It is safe for you to take these pills for even years irrespective of why you are taking it. Even if you are taking it for menstrual cycle or for your cramps or for hormone replacement or even for birth control. So you can take it as long as you want. Do you need to take a break from the pill? No. There is no medical reason that you need to take a break from the pill. The most, the next important question that people ask is, what if I forget to take one or more pill, combined pill? See, if you miss one pill, take the pill as soon as possible and then continue taking the pills as per usual time. You may take two pills on the same day, one at the moment you remember and the other at your regular time or even sometimes you can take two at the same time so then second instance if you actually if you miss two or more pills in a row then take the most recently missed pill as soon as possible and then continue to take continue to take your pills as usual you may take two pills on the same day as i have already explained but if you are actually using these pills as birth control and you are sexually active, then you should use a backup method for birth control like condoms or you may choose not to have sexual contact until you have taken the active hormonal pill for 7 days. One pill every day for 7 days in a row. Then there is a good uh, protective effect. So if you missed two doses, third day you might get pregnant. So you have to use another method. Lastly, oral contraceptive pills is much more than just a birth control pill. Adolescent girls, young women are very frequently prescribed OCPs just for their medical benefits. They are very safe and very effective treatments for many types of medical problems like PCOS, we have already discussed menstrual periods, irregular menstrual periods, menstrual cramps, pre-MS and endometriosis. So don't worry, you can take these pills with the advice of your doctor, go to a gynecologist, get yourself checked and get a prescription and safely use them. So this is all about these pills guys. I hope you liked the video. I'm going to post a video of this in Hindi as well and uh, hope you like that as well. For people who are curious for a video on how to lose weight with polycystic ovarian syndrome, let me tell you there is no separate diet, there is no separate weight loss recommendation for people for with for people with polycystic ovarian syndrome they can lose weight very easily with these hormonal replacement therapy and following the basic weight loss methods diet exercise for knowing about the basic weight loss methods you can write to me or you can watch my videos in weight loss sections and food education sections. So I hope I'm helping you here.
keep watching my videos those who don't know me i am dr paramji the consultant physician cardiologist in yashoda super speciality hospital nehru nagar delhi ncr and this is my channel a lot of videos are present on my channel hope you have seen some of them if not all and hope you are promoting my channel if you like me so don't forget to watch the bloopers at the end of the video so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and share these videos to everyone till next time i'm dr paramjit you're watching doctor education stay connected stay healthy guys right. adolescent girls and young women are free as you know polycystic ovarian disease we guys so we're going to discuss everything there is to know about oral septic uh, so for all these reasons adolescent p menstrual syndrome only not perimenopause so but you think i'm not pregnant uh, now let's talk about why uh, let's so why because of these ocps your chances of landing up into iron deficiency landing up into hemoglobin deficiency sorry oral contraceptive pills the most most women do not have most women with 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 while taking oral contraceptive they are no there are do you need to take a, and i've started using them i've started giving them i've started do making them <laughs> okay chalo bye good night see you okay guys Till next time